that all of you, and I hope all of you are going to be staying long enough to enjoy it. Dainik Jagran is a group that believes in creating and promoting a culture of cinema appreciation. And all their initiatives, like the Jagran Film Festival, the Jagran Cinema Summit, attempt to enhance and celebrate cinematic influences. Ladies and gentlemen, the Indian film industry is, as you all know, on the cusp of a lot of changes. Exciting new writers are coming in, newer, bolder themes are being explored, new technology in filmmaking is making our movies really cutting edge, the contours of the business of cinema are undergoing a dramatic shift as well, and our industry needs an open platform such as this to discuss and debate these exciting, daunting changes. The Jagran Cinema Summit is an initiative by the Jagran Group to fulfill this extremely critical gap, and I hope we'll succeed in addressing some of these issues by the end of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, first things first, we are all here today as an industry of really proud cinema makers, and there is no event that is possible without an auspicious lighting of the lamp. So I'd now like to request one of the finest filmmakers for me in the world, Mr. Shekhar Kapoor, to please come up on stage and light the lamp. I'd also like to call uh, Mr. Ajay Brahmatmaj, the uh, entertainment editor of Jagran, Mr. Basant Rathor, senior vice president of the Jagran Group, and the lovely Ms. Kangana Ranaut to come on stage and lighten. And of course, getting them all here, Mayank Shekhar, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not just a photo op. You can put your hands together and let's just hope to have a fantastic, auspicious, fruitful debate tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause, and we have begun on this auspicious note. Thank you so much, gentlemen, Kangana. The photographer was just like, Kangana ji left, dekhi, Kangana ji right, dekhi. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. I'd now like to request uh, Mr. Basant Rathor to stay back and uh, give us a few words of wisdom. Yes. Okay, so, uh, well, Mr. Rathor will be back, but uh, I really want to call on stage. Like I said, he's one of the finest filmmakers the industry has seen on in India as well as the global platform. He really needs no introduction, so I'm not going to bother with one. Please welcome for our keynote address today on the future of film, Mr. Shekhar Kapoor on stage. Hi, how are you? Um, 
I thought Kangana was going to be on stage with me. No? Do you want to come? No? Okay, all right. So the question that I've been asked is what is the future of… What? Okay. So the question I've been asked is what is the future of film? Um, see, I'm not a filmmaker. Uh, I'm a storyteller. Can everybody sit down and be quiet? I've come a long way to talk to you. Okay. Can you keep quiet, please? All right. Thank you. So, um, I don't think that we are, need to confine ourselves to be filmmakers. We're storytellers. Most of the questions that I keep getting asked about filmmaking is, which way is film going? And unfortunately, film is now, till now, being only seen as a theatrical experience. And that's our biggest problem. Has been all the time. India only has about 9,000 or 10,000 screens, and they're declining. In comparison, let's say China, where they're adding 15 screens every day. So we have to think away from theatrical releases. We have to find platforms beyond theatrical releases. If we are to encourage new talent, if we are to go into forms of new filmmaking, if out we are to experiment, we have to go beyond theater. And now suddenly, the opportunities are huge. We have cell phones, right? We have 800 million cell phones in India. Is that a market that filmmakers should be exploiting as against 6,000 screens? We have Amazon here, we have Netflix here. We have a number of platforms. So when I ask, you know, when I, I get, people ask me and they, they're filming me on their cell phones and they say, sir, how do we become a filmmaker? And I said, you're filming me, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you have an editing facility in your phone or your computer? Yes, sir. I said, then what's the problem? You're a filmmaker. You're shooting, you're editing, you can go home, you can upload it to YouTube, right? So you're a writer, filmmaker, editor, and your own distributor. So what's the problem? What are you looking for? When I started my first film for Basum, I had no choice but to take a 35mm camera or a 16mm camera, get the money, buy the raw stock, and the only way that I could release my film was theatrically. Now you can release your film in any way possible. So I really going to invite some questions from you. Remember that art has always followed the technology of distribution. Right from the time that the cavemen wanted to tell stories, so we have these 5,000-year-old caves or 10,000-year-old caves where you realize that the cavemen have taken stone and engraved paint, uh, paintings, one after the other, like a comic book, to tell their stories. When my daughter was a kid, her technology was crayons. As filmmakers, our technology has been cameras and film and now digital. But as technology goes on increasing, then our ways and means of telling stories goes on increasing. And we should not confine ourselves to say, I want to make films theatrically. We should be able to open ourselves to whatever digital platforms, whatever, pla whatever platforms are being uh, offered right now. And the number of platforms and the number of possibilities is going on every day. Right now I'm making a VR experience, right? Virtual reality. I'm making a virtual reality on Buddha's, uh, you know, at the moment that Buddha was enlightened. Now, is that a film? Is that a story? Or is that virtual reality experience? It's storytelling. I am now adapting to storytelling in the new form that's going to come up, which is now taking the world by storm, which is virtual reality. People, we keep saying our business is increasing. If you look at the number of people that are going to theaters, that's decreasing. We talk about multiplexes. 95% of India cannot afford to go to multiplexes. We used to say, Film in India is a mass medium. How can it be mass medium if 95% of the films of the audience can't go to see a cinema because it's too expensive? I came, you know, I came uh, from America one day. I landed, my driver and my peon came to pick me up, and I was just talking, and my peon said, Sir, you should see a very beautiful film, a very good film. I said, I'll see it, but you don't go to the theater. So where did you see it? He said, sir, Sarat pa dekhi. I said, Sarat, Sarat, what are you talking about? Then my driver said, sir, Sarat, it's a very film. Now, you see. I said, you went to the theater. He said, no, sir, Sarat pa dekhi. I said, what is Sarat? 
I realized they were saying share it. There's an app called Share It. They've all seen it. And yet the film's done over 100 crores. And yet 90% of them have not gone to the theater to see it. They've seen it on their phones. Those of you that can afford big houses and security have chokidars, right? Go downstairs in the middle of the night. Here's what your chokidar is doing. They're watching films on their phones. Oh, chor nikal jayega, wo film dekhta rahega, right? So there is any number we have to, as storytellers, we have to adapt to every platform, every means that are given to us. And those means are increasing all the time, and it's given you, given you, which of, how many of you want to make a film? Raise your hands. Don't be shy. Come on, don't be shy. How many of you have got the funding to make a film? One, two out of the hundred or so that said, oh, you got two hands up. And those that you don't have funding, how much money do you need? You, there is a whole company that we've launched called Zero Budget Filmmaking. It doesn't take money. It doesn't take, it only makes, if you want to be a theatrical, famous theatrical filmmaker, then you want to be famous. Which comes first? You want to make a film, you want to express your stories, or you want to be famous? I'm hoping that it's, you want to make a film, you want to express yourself. There's nothing stopping you. What is stopping you? Do you have a story? You have a cell phone? You have an editing facility? You have YouTube, you can launch it? What's stopping you? I, I don't get it. I don't get the problem. What is the problem? I wish I had that when I first started making films. I would have made 2,000 films instead of five or six. But you have to, it is, a vast thing. You just have to understand that the technology of distribution is changing. You have to adapt yourself to it. But more than adapt yourself to it, you have to see it but not as a challenge. People talk about piracy. More people are watching the film than ever before and yet theater revenues are going up. Actually what's happening is the uh, ticket price is going up, people are going down. But more people are watching films than ever before. They're watching them on new platforms. And we shouldn't be arrogant enough to say, Neji Mehta Sir, theater ba jaunga. We should go out and tell our stories because fundamentally, filmmaking is about visual storytelling. And it doesn't matter how you do it. Okay, I'm gonna say the same thing. There is a lot more ideas and, and, and things, but if you have any questions, please ask them very quickly because everybody's waiting for Kangana to come up, all right? Is there any questions? Otherwise, I have to leave. Can I can see everybody looking there, right? You're too shy. That's fine. Yes, of course. Um, I've just done a big TV series on William Shakespeare. It's ten hours. I'm going out now to make a film on uh, on Bruce Lee on his life. So I'm shooting in China right now. Uh, you'll probably see that. But, you know, I want to come back, and my, my fascinating Pret project still remains is Pani. And why would I not? How many of you want to see Pani? Let's see. Why is it not being made? Can anybody tell me that? Pani ka na? Pani khatam ho jayega, to meri film Pani aajai. No, no, it's, it's, it's fabulous. And, and in a way, um, Raj Mohli set the trend. I, I really, really admire Raj Mohli because what he did was he showed us that when you have a very big story to tell, do it in two parts. And that's what I'm going to do with Pani now. I'm going to do it in two parts because it's a story I've, I've written over many, many years. It's a really important story. So who says ki film, all of it should be in one part? It could be in two parts and it's cheaper, right? Okay, so wish me luck, and uh, if there are no more questions, I think I've done my 15 minutes. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. So, as you said, storytelling is all about the concept. So, this is all about a medium. So, what do you think in the concept that we are taking ahead of time or giving them something that they can look upon and say that this might be a criteria? Look, I follow art. Society follows it. 
और आर्ट सोसाइटी को चैलेंज करता है साइंस शायद सोसाइटी को आगे बढ़ा देता है और टेक्नोलॉजी आगे बढ़ा देता है लेकिन कभी कभी ऐसी फिल्म है कि भाई प्रॉब्लम ये है प्रॉब्लम जैसे मैंने बैंडेड क्वीन बनाई किसने देखी क्या आप सबने देखी हो ठीक है बैंडेड क्वीन में प्रॉब्लम स्टेट की कि ये ऐसा है और ऐसा आगे इसको इसको ठीक करना है इस समस्या को देखना है ठीक तरह से देखना है इसको आगे बढ़ाना है और इसकी सोल्यूशन निकालनी है बैंडेड क्वीन में आप देखें सो आपके सर सोल्यूशन क्या है सोल्यूशन तो एक बहुत बड़ी सोसाइटी की सोल्यूशन होती है सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट लेकिन आपने मिस्टर इंडिया भी बनाई जो अब शायद कुछ समय में ये पॉसिबल हो पाएगा कि लोग इनविजिबल हो जाए वो तो हो चुका है अभी आप साइंस अगर पढ़ते रहे हैं तो इस साइंस में ऐसा है कि वो लाइट ऐसे दे विल पुट लाइट ऐसे करेंगे तो यहाँ से इर्द गिर्द जाकर वहाँ आ जाएगी और आपको ऐसे लगेगा कि मैं हूँ ही नहीं वो तो पॉसिबल हो गया है वो जो हमने कहा था वो मिस्टर अशोक कुमार का डायलॉग था वो सच हो गया अब अब तो बहुत साइंटिफिक रिसर्च के बाद मिस्टर इंडिया आप इनविजिबल हो सकते हैं आप जब मुझसे बात करेंगे अगली बार तो मैं देख नहीं पाऊंगा आपको मैं कहूँगी ये आवाज़ कहाँ से आ रही है है ना तो ये भी हो जाएगा यार ऐसा होता है कि एक चीज़ जब आप बना चुके हैं ना और इतनी बड़ी हिट हो गई है तो उसको आप रिपीट करके ना उसको बिगाड़ देंगे तो कोई और अच्छा डायरेक्टर हो और लोग हों उनको बनानी चाहिए क्योंकि मैं तो कर चुका हूँ ना पार्ट टू अब क्या बनाऊंगा यार है मेरे पास लोग आते रहते हैं मैं आपको एक बात बताऊं और फिर निकल जाऊंगा यहाँ से लोग मेरे पास आते हैं कहते हैं सर मिस्टर इंडिया आप बना दीजिए देखिए तीन हफ्ते में ढाई सौ करोड़ कर लेगी या तीन सौ करोड़ कर लेगी पूरा पैसा आपको हम तीन सौ करोड़ देते हैं और तीन करोड़ आप तीन हफ्ते में कमा लेंगे फिर मैं कहता हूँ यार देखो मैंने एक फिल्म बनाई थी जो तीस साल चली अब आप मुझे कह रहे हैं कि आप ऐसी पिक्चर बनाओ जो तीन हफ्ते चले मुझे समझ में नहीं आ रही है ना ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच मैं थैंक्स फॉर कॉलिंग मी आई नो इट वाज लास्ट मिनट एंड आई एम टेकिंग टाइम फ्रॉम द ब्यूटीफुल यंग वंडरफुल ग्रेट एक्ट्रेस हुज ऑलवेज रिफ्यूज टू वर्क विद मी शी इज राइट हेयर कंगना इट्स योर स्टेज थैंक यू